Sony have just released a new camera. It wasn't quite what all of us were expecting. I personally was expecting maybe an A7S III or an A9000, some kind of pro crop body. But they have released a new camera and let's be honest, new cameras are always gonna be a good thing. But it's probably not gonna be a camera that I'm gonna buy and here's why. So there's really not much I don't like about this camera and the things I don't like are mostly because it doesn't suit my needs and what I do as a photographer. So let's go over some of the things that I really, really like about the new release and some of the things that just aren't for me and probably gonna be a deal breaker for what I do as a wedding and portrait photographer. So one of the first things I noticed, and it's not gonna be a big deal for a lot of people, but for me, it's really annoyed me in the past how all the Sony cameras that I've owned, the focus point is a little gray dot and it's really, really hard to see in certain lighting situations, you can't always track where your focus point is. But with the new camera, it seems like the focus point, if you're on single point or you know, flexible spot, it's now red, which really stands out. And that's a really, really fantastic software update for me personally. I do really like the fact that it now has two UHS-2 card slots. My A7R III has one UHS-2 card slot and one UHS-1. If you guys don't know what that means, it's basically just the speed of the card and UHS-2 is much faster than UHS-1. The problem being if you're shooting raw to both cards, you're kind of bottlenecked by that one UHS-1 slot. So it's a really nice upgrade. I'm happy that they've brought that out. So the next thing for me is the weather sealing. Sony have really updated the weather sealing in the camera and made it a little bit more tougher, dust resistant and water resistant. I've done a video in the past, I'll put a link up here about the reliability of the Sony cameras and I personally have never had an issue yet. So it's just a really good thing to see that they've upped it even more. So it's gonna be more on the par with these DSLR bodies. One of my favorite things about the new release is that bigger grip. It seems like it has a really nice big grip and a lot more room for your fingers in between the lens, which is definitely a downside for a lot of people using Sony at the moment. I do have quite big hands and yeah, I'm really looking forward to a really large grip. The real-time tracking is going to be awesome. Uh, I've never had an issue with the A7R3 focus or the A7 III, and I had the A9 in the past. The A9 probably had a little bit of an edge over the other two, but all three cameras have had really, really amazing focus, and I've never had anything but good things to say about it. But the A7R4 obviously has that new real-time tracking that the A9 has, so I'm really stoked to see that. Another thing for me is the new viewfinder. A lot of people are saying it may be the new viewfinder that's the same in the Panasonic S1 cameras. I have used those cameras and the viewfinders are outstanding, so it's a really, really nice welcome. I like how they've changed the exposure compensation dial to have a lock on it now. I never had a massive issue with bumping it because it's quite a stiff dial on the A7R3s, but there has been occasions where I've done that and it's just been nice to be able to lock it out. One thing I've never really grown to love about the A7R3, the A9 is definitely a little bit better, but the A7R3 and the A7III, the buttons are a little bit spongy. I'm not a big fan of the shutter button itself, but apparently the buttons on the A7R4 have a huge improvement, really nice tactile response, so I can't wait to get my hands on it and see how how much nicer it feels. Next thing on my list is gonna be those little flappy bits on the side where you plug your microphone and HDMI cables in. I hate it how they just hang down. I feel like I'm always gonna break them on the A7R III. I've never had an issue with them breaking. I've never broken one yet, but they do feel a little bit fragile. And I also like the new SD card door slot. Now, a couple of things that I'm not overly impressed with, these aren't gonna be deal breakers for most people. And I'm just telling you guys what I think. But the LCD screen on the back of the camera, it seems like it's the same one as the A7R III, and I was looking forward to an update with that. The touchscreen also seems to have the same usability as the A7R III, which for me is pretty much pointless unless you're doing a lot of video and you want to touch to focus, that's fine, but you still can't go through the menus or anything like that. So not a big deal for me, but I know a lot of other people are going to be frustrated with that. Now the biggest thing for me, and probably the reason why I'm not going to buy an A7R IV, is no small raw feature that I've heard of yet. Fingers crossed they do that and I'd be really stoked if they do. So I really don't need 61 megapixels for weddings. If I was doing studio portraits or commercial or landscape, 61 megapixels is gonna be just fantastic. You'll get such amazing image quality, really good dynamic range from the sensor. But for weddings, I don't really need 61 megapixels and I would really like to have small raw like you have on the Nikon D850 where you can still shoot full frame and have a lower file size, which would be fantastic. You can shoot in crop mode and get that still 26 megapixel image, which is fantastic. But 
I don't want to shoot in crop mode, I want to shoot in full frame and have the full width of my 24mm 1.4 G Master and still just have like 26, 30 megapixels or something like that. That would be just fantastic. So fingers crossed Sony have put a small RAW functionality into the camera because that's going to be the deciding factor for me. So let me know what you guys think about it. Drop a comment below. I'm sure I'm going to be able to get my hands on one soon to have a play with and give you guys my honest thoughts on it. This week I've just been getting my van ready. I'm all ready and packed to go for my South Island trip coming up. I'm leaving this Sunday and I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of videos on landscape photography using filter systems, all sorts of stuff, hopefully some astrophotography. So watch out for that. There's going to be a whole series of videos and they're going to be out really, really fast. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video in a couple of days. Thank you.